Hello children, today we are going to decorate our lighthouse. Before we do that, however, it's very important that we punch two holes in the top of our lighthouse that are opposite each other. The reason why we need those two holes is so that we can put through our winding mechanism like this, children. Can you see our winding mechanism? So this is the part that you will need um, to ask a grown-up to help you with. Now, I'm very lucky because I have a puncher here, a hole puncher. So I have used the hole puncher to hole punch two holes that are opposite each other and I have tested to make sure that my dowel does go through like this. So this is what, what you need to ask your grown-up to help you with. Make sure you ask very, very nicely, children. Once you have done that, you can then start painting. Of course, before we start painting, we need to make sure that we have a suitable work surface. And again, I am using my old tablecloth, children, to make sure that I don't get my um, kitchen table dirty. So you need to make sure that you check with your mummy and daddy um, and make sure that they are happy with where you are planning to paint your lighthouse. I have my paints ready. Now, if you don't have paints like this, you can always um, colour your lighthouse using Sharpies or using felty pens or using colouring pencils, children. Um, what you do, however, need ideally is a pencil, children. This is so that um, we can make sure that our lines are nice and neat and if we do go wrong we can always rub them out. So if you are using the paints or even if you are colouring in, the rule number one is to make sure that we always start with the lightest colour. So can you see children, I have started with white here on the main body of the lighthouse and green on the base of the lighthouse. But this is because I would like it to look like there is grass and perhaps even moss growing up the lighthouse. And I had to apply a number of layers to this colour just to make it a bit more uniform and to make sure that the brown from the kitchen roll doesn't seep through. And I had to wait between each layer. Now it's nice and dry so that I know that I can now start um, painting with darker colours and my colours will not blend in, not run into each other. Now what I want to make sure is uh, that I learn from previous mistake. And can you see children, what's wrong with the stripes on this lighthouse? That's why they are not very neat, are they? So to make sure that my um, new lighthouse looks much, much better and much, much neater, I'm going to draw stripes, I'm going to draw lines all around the lighthouse. Now I do find that if I rest my elbow on the table, my hand is much, much steadier and then I end up drawing much, much neater lines. Like this. It doesn't matter if I make a mistake because I am using a pencil and I can always rub the line out and start again. So as, as you can see, I have made myself one, two, three, four lines. That means that I am going to leave the top stripe white, then I'm going to paint a red stripe underneath, then I'm going to have the white stripe in the middle, another red stripe, and then the bottom is going to remain white. So I would make sure that I paint very, very, very carefully around the top of the line and the bottom of the line first, like this children, before I fill in the middle like this, to make sure that my lines, my stripes on the lighthouse are going to be very, very neat. Now children, does anybody know why do the lighthouses have red and white stripes on them? Can you think of a reason? If you said uh, they have the stripes to make sure that they are, they are seen, easily seen from the distance, you are absolutely right. Of course, we know that during the night, the lighthouses have the light on the top of them and each lighthouse, lighthouse's light 
flashes in a certain sequence. So every single lighthouse has a special sequence of the flashes, which makes um, the sailors know which lighthouse they are next to. But obviously during the day, that light wouldn't be seen. And that's why the lighthouses have those really, really recognizable white and red stripes to make sure that they can be spotted from the distance in the middle of the day. Lovely. So I'm going to carry on painting like this. And once I have finished painting my red stripe, I am then going to let it dry and I'm going to move on to the base, children. I'm going to move on to the base. And on the base, I have the option. I can either leave it green as it is, or I can add some blue around the edges to kind of suggest there is, um, that the base of the lighthouse is being washed by the sea. And I could even add some brown or gray rocks. Once I have finished painting and my paint has dried, I would like to add a window to my, to my lighthouse. I can't do it right now uh, on the red stripe, but I could do it on my white stripe. So in fact, I could have a window so that Mr. Grindling, Grindling can climb through it if he locks himself out again. So I'm going to draw a lovely circle. And again, I'm doing it slowly, children. You could use, remember in a class, we sometimes use the um, glue stick lid to draw around it so that we can have a nice circle shape. And I am going to paint the window blue. I'm never painting with wet paint on the top of wet paint because that would just lead to disaster or a catastrophe. So my white paint has been dried for some time and I'm going to paint the window for Mr. Grindling, just in case. Now I can see that the white is seeping through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry. And then once the paint is dry, I'm going to apply another layer of glue to make it nice and dark. What I'm also thinking is it would be good to have doors so that somebody can enter the lighthouse. So I'm going to use grey, but again, I'm not going to start painting until I have used a pencil to draw the door. So I'm going to draw the door underneath the window so that it's nice and symmetrical. And I'm going to paint it grey so that it's obvious that it is the door to the lighthouse like so again if I would like this to be darker I can come back to it once this paint this layer of paint has dried if you are doing it with sharpies you're obviously not going to have this problem the key to your lighthouse looking really really nice is of course doing it carefully and not rushing whether you are painting or coloring make sure that you do not rush so children this is our task today it's to paint the main body and the base of the lighthouse and i'm very much looking forward to seeing how you get on with it and then next week mrs Ed, mrs Ed is going to show you how to um, fit in the electrical circuit and I'm going to show you how to fit in the winding mechanism so that by next Friday we'll all have beautifully finished working lighthouses. Bye for now!